Hey, folks, are you ready to see a great show tonight? Come on now, I wanted to hear you in downtown Branson. Are you ready to see a great show tonight? First on lead guitar from Rosebud, Missouri. How about a big hand for David Bird right here? Tonight on drums from Joplin, Missouri, it's Doug Fuller. Hey, Doug. On bass guitar from the great state of Indiana, Randy McConnell. Yeah. On keyboards from the great state of Kansas, Andy Ober. Yeah. From the low star state of Texas, on fiddle, guitar, and on vocals, Rodney Smith. Yeah. On pedal steel from the great state of Arkansas, it's Greg Moody. from Long Beach, California. How about a big hand for Tracy Heaston? It's the Time Machine Band. If you're happy to see them, let me hear you. Come on! Come on! Come on! Right now, friends, here they are, the premier quartet in Ozark Mountain Country. How about a big welcome for Chosen Hugh? Let's go! I don't use five dollar words Cause might not sound like much compared To all the pretty things you've heard But here's how I'd explain it Well since you brought it up And it won't sound like anybody else's version of love It's like just before dark Jump in the car we can drive before it melts What kind of thing That's how you love makes me feel This how you know the road to the left Your heart skips a beat and it scares you to death And you laugh and feel you cry Well that's how your love makes me feel inside Why? Well it might not be suitable for greeting cars and suns, but it's a true and honest feeling, and if you feel it half as much, we could go through life together without a worry or a care, and knowing deep down in our hearts that we've got something special here. It's like just before dark, jump in the car, buy an ice cream and see how far we can drive. That's how your love makes me feel There's a cow on the road and you swear to the left Your heart skips a beat and it scares you to death And you laugh until you cry Well that's how your love makes me feel inside Well that's how your love makes me feel inside Well that's how your love makes me feel inside Welcome back, Ohio. Are you ready to have some fun tonight? Let me hear you. Oh. Don't you know I've come a long, long way? I've been longing to see her when she's around. She takes my blues away. Sweet Maria. The sunlight surely hurts my life. I'm a lonely dreamer on the highway in the sky. I'm a dreamer. Lady, your miracle work for me. Well, 
Well, you set my soul free like a ship sailing out to sea. Well, she is the sunlight when the stars are She treats me so right, lady, and takes me away. Thank you, friends and neighbors. Thank you so much. Welcome to the big show. We're going to have a big time tonight. And let me tell you, right now, we have just enough time to bring out our first Jim Dandy Talent Contest winner. I don't know about you folks. I think I can speak for the band. We are fired up about this, aren't we, boys? I'm telling you what, this should be good. Alrighty, it says here that this young man was discovered singing in his hometown of Nail, Arkansas. Got some Arkansas over here. He performs every other third Wednesday at the Nail Opry House. And he opens for such popular groups down there as Chubby Corduroy and the Noisy Britches. <laughs> they are a happening group down there, too, I'm telling you. How about a big hand for Mule Kick Burdett? Let's get him on out here. What do you say? Let's give this young man a nice welcome. There you go. <laughs> Mama, I found someone. Like you said, I took her home. She has no snout, but she's no doubt the biggest pig I've known. I thought that she could help me out with the laundry and the chores. But there are those who don't wash clothes and guess who scrub in the floors. Mama, she's lazy. Lazier Wait a minute, hold it, hold me. it, hold it, stop it. Wait a minute. Oh, you people are starved for entertainment, aren't you? Jim, what are you doing out here? You're not supposed to be out here now. You... No, but I'm just wanting to get in the show. In the show? Yeah. No, we can't do that. We don't have time for that. Besides, you are, you're, you're the stage manager. You've got a very important job. So oh, get I know, but there. it just ain't the same. See, no, I'd like listen, to be out listen, here I'm on, telling in you the what, show. No, it just take a second no. if I could just... No, no, no. <laughs> what are you doing? You're out here in front of 2,000 people throwing a fit. You can't do that. You are in trouble, I'm telling you. We don't do that here. Listen, little mister, I want you to take, look, 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 take, pick out one of those posts. You go over there and you put your nose up against that post. And you stand there and you think about it. Are you, you serious? I'm serial. Now get on over there. Let's go. Wait a minute. I haven't gotten on that. Let's go. <laughs> now get over there. Go on. And now, ladies and gentlemen, here they come. Three lovely young ladies. Here they come, friends, the sweethearts of Silver Dollar City. <laughs> and now, we... Here they come, friends, the sweethearts of Silver Dollar City, Tanya, Melanie, and Teresa. How about a big hand for Pure Heart? Doesn't matter if you're rich or poor, if you're old or young. Everybody, every now and then, has got to have some fun. So turn up the music, turn up the juice, put me in the spotlight, turn me loose. You better hold on tight, we're gonna rock tonight. Love to hear that old guitar strum. This country's rocking. Jump back and let the bad boys play everywhere across the USA. This 
so much thank you well we have uh, it's time now for another Jim Dandy talent contest winner ladies and gentlemen and it says here that this young man is from hold it here what's it say here oh this guy comes to us from California California some Californians up here excellent you know you're from California aren't you Trace this young man comes to us from Los Carquis California I know you're gonna enjoy him how about a big hand for MC wave jammer this ought to be a little different. Get the chicken with me. was a bear. Fuzzy was it, had no hair. Fuzzy was it, wasn't fuzzy. Was it? On a dance. Jim, what's gotten into you? A splinter about that long. <laughs> oh, boy. And what was all this? What was all this spinning around and stuff? What were you doing out there? What was that? I was dancing. Dancing? Uh-huh. <laughs> Looks to me like you need a good worming. Now listen, I want you to get on, bamoose, get out of here, go on, take off. And I was going to say something nice about you. Yeah, well, oh, wait, wait, hey, come here, come here, my little compadre, come up here. <laughs> you going to say something about me, were you? Nice, were you? Nice, huh? What were you going to say? 
I was going to say you look like you lost weight. Hey, I have. Thank you very much. I've been working on it. Thank you. I've been really, really working hard. Well, yeah, yeah. As a matter of fact, uh, your clothes fit you like a glove. Like a glove. You hear that stretch? Fitting like a glove. You're sticking out in five different places. Get out of here. Go. Get out of here. <laughs> hey, you're going to want to remember the day you first saw this next young man. Friends, he's going straight to the top. Silver Dollar City's favorite son. Here he is, William Earl. Candy kisses. Wrapped in paper mean more to you than mine do dear. Oh, candy kisses. Wrapped in paper you'd rather have them than any of mine. Once my heart was filled with gladness, now there's sadness. Wrapped in paper, you'd rather have them any old time. All right. How about if a Greg Moody on steel guitar? Oh, Tracy Houston, the Time Machine Man. Oh, candy kisses wrapped in paper mean more to you than mine do, dear. Oh, candy kisses wrapped in paper you'd rather have them any old time. Once my heart was filled with gladness, now there's sadness, heartache and tears. Oh, candy kisses, wrapped in paper, mean more to you than mine do, dear. so much. Wow, that's really nice. Right now, I want to sing one of my favorite songs for you, and I hope you like this one. Somewhere there should be for all the world to see. Oh, a statue of a fool made of stone. The image of a man who let love slip through his hands. Oh, and then just let it stand there all alone. And then upon his face, a gold tear be played oh in honor of a million tears he's cried and the hurt in his eyes would show so that all the world would know that conceit is a broken heart inside so build me a statue and no build it high so that all the world can see they
ladies and gentlemen, William Earl. Man, they're standing up for him. Look at that. Take him out, William. All right. Well, excellente, excellente. I'll tell you what, friends. The moment you've all been waiting for, the third and final Jim Dandy Talent Contest winner. Coming out right now, ladies and gentlemen, and this, is, uh, this, this, should be, uh, this should be a little different. Let's see, who we got here? Hey, this young man comes to us from the great state of Texas. That's where you're from, right? This guy comes to us from a little town in East Texas, it says here, Glancing Blow, Texas, ladies and gentlemen. How about a nice hand for Wendy Hightower? Let's get him on out here. Wendy Hightower. You want to check the door for Wendy Hightower? Wendy Hightower. I really hate to do this to you, you know, you're really trying hard, but we just got to get you on off here, because we're, we're really, we're, we're kind of starting to run a little, you know, let's go, come on, get off the stage. Would you? I was going to say something nice about you. Oh, no, wait a minute, wait, 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 come here, come here, come here. You said that a while ago, and then you made that remark about my weight, and I'll have you know, I'm very sensitive about my weight. <laughs> I'm sorry, I didn't know that's that. That's okay, that's all right. See, at one time, you don't know this, but at one time, I weighed over 300 pounds. I did. And I tell you, I worked hard. Hard, I tell you. Worked hard all the time to get my weight off. I ran laps. Four miles a day I ran, around and around. I lived on just crumbs, I'm telling you, crumbs. I worked hard, but I'm here to tell you, those days are behind me. Don't look now, but happy days are here again. Get out of here. I know what you're saying. You're saying I can tell by your outfit that you are a cowboy. Thank you very much. Well, you see, friends, that's because we're getting ready for our big country western medley here. How many of you folks like cowboy music? Good old cowboy western music. Mighty fine. You see, we've got four singing cowboys going to come a-galloping out here. They're going to do some old cowboy tunes for you. And then we're going to have some country classics a little bit later on in this segment of our show. Now, in order to set the mood for the four singing cowboys, we've got to all pretend we're somewhere out there on the Lone Prairie. So we've got to have some coyotes a-howling. Let me hear them coyotes. On this particular night, the coyotes were all sick. But, uh... Okay, I'm going to count to three. You all start howling. We'll get our cowboys out here. Here we go. One, two, three. Here they come. Come on, cowboys. I'll grapple with right now and talk to them today. Upon a raging respite as he went along his way. 
When all the punks were mighty heard a red eye gal song Riding through a raggy sky And a big loudy brawl Yippee-i-ya Shiny and they're hot where they could be. The boat of fear went through him as they thundered through the sky. They saw the rice coming far. And he heard the boat go cry. If me, I am. If me, I am. The rover's riders in the sky. Friend is a friend. 
to be out here. Back off there, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> I know everything you're going to say, oh, everything yeah? you're going to do. I can read your mind. You can read my mind. Right. Really? See, you just happen to be dealing with one of those psychotics. Ah. <laughs> well, there you have it. So, what are you doing out oh, here? I had to come out and tell you something happened to me today. Something happened to you? You won't believe it. Okay. It beats anything you ever heard. Okay, I'm going to town. Right. Okay, on my way to town today. Look up there beside the road. Yeah. Here's an old farmer that lives not too far from us out there. Uh -huh. and he's got his mule that just walking alongside the road. Gotcha. Okay. I'm going to be the nice guy, so I pull up there and stop and go, Hey, old farmer man! Want to ride to town? What do you say? Yeah, reckon. Reckon? So he gets in. Before <laughs> we take off, I say, What about your mule? Yeah. What we do with him? He says, Don't worry, he's been to town a million times. He knows the way. Knows the way. Yep. Gotcha. So we head off to town. A few minutes, I look down, doing 34 miles an hour. Wow, 34. Oh, I do 34 all the time. Oh, do you? Yeah, I, I do 34 through the drive through at McDonald's. <laughs> really? <laughs> right through there. The funny thing is, he's doing 34, look at the rearview mirror. Yeah. The mule is right on the bumper. You're kidding. Keeping right up with us. 
couldn't believe it. I said, Farmer, I can't believe this. We're doing 34 miles an hour. That mule is staying right up with us. Right he said, oh, he does stuff like that all the time. Don't worry about it. All the time. Okay. Well, we looked down a few minutes later. I'm doing 57 miles an hour. Wow. Look in the rear view mirror. There's the mule right on the bumper. Right there. It's keeping right up with us. Wow. I said, Farmer, I can't believe this. We're doing 57 now. The mule's right. He just does it all the time. Don't worry all about it. All the time. It. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so a few minutes later, okay, I'm pushing it now, doing 89 miles an hour. You are a wild man. <laughs> I tell you, the old orange pacer was humming. <laughs> <laughs> Had her wound up, didn't you? Oh, like a weed eater. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I look in the rear view, how fast did I say it was going? 89. 89. <laughs> rear view mirror, the mule's now gaining on it. Oh! I can't believe this. Now, this beats all of us. I said, Farmer, we're doing 89 miles an hour. The mule is gaining on us. Mm. He said, he is? I said, yeah. He said, what does he look like? I looked, and I said, well, his eyes are bugged out. He's huffing and puffing pretty hard. His tongue's hanging out. He said, oh, which side of his mouth is his tongue hanging out of? I said, well, looks like the left side. He said, whoop, you better stay in this lane. He's a fiction to pass. <laughs> Give me that thing. Get out of here. Jim Dandy, here I go. Woo. Folks, it's gospel music time on our program. This is a part of the show that we enjoy. We certainly do. We enjoy the whole show, but this is particularly uh, one of our favorite parts of our show. And we're going to start it off in a very special way. You see, our piano player and band leader, Mr. Tracy Heaston, for the next couple of minutes, he's going to play this piano like you have never seen one played before. Oh, I'm telling you what, friends, he's going to rip the keys off of this thing. And as you can plainly see, he is excited. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I, I don't want to put any pressure on you, but it's up to you to get a, another standing ovation, see? So when you get in there, you really try hard, because I know you can do this. I've seen you do it before, so give them your excited look, and let's get going. There you go. <laughs> Twice voted Branson, Missouri's Piano Player of the Year. You're about to see why, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Tracy Heaston. Here I go.
Houston. Tracy Houston, ladies and gentlemen. Mighty fine, boys. Mighty fine. Mighty fine. Would you like to hear that one a little faster? <clears throat> well, he's got it on tape. Hey, let's welcome back to the stage Tanya, Melanie, and Teresa. Here they come. Pure heart. Come on, ladies. Thank you. 
right now we are fixing to do a song that I have to be honest with you. This is a song that Casey and myself, we really don't like a whole lot because it doesn't feature either one of us. It features that low down bass singing. Oh, yeah. It, yeah. yeah. And then it features that high screaming tenor singing that Sis does down here. And just to be quite honest with you, it gets on our nerves. But we Brian, gotta, I got a great idea, man. Well, you better hang on to it because you don't get too many of them. Now, <laughs> it's like this. It's like going to a church banquet, eating a lot of food. You get real filled up. That's how I feel every time I Brian, hear the Brian, this is a great sing. idea, man. Gonna, I've been practicing all wait, week. Wait, just wait, 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 wait. Now, I'm not sure these folks here even want to hear your great idea. <laughs> okay, maybe they do. <laughs> You see, I've been practicing all week just waiting for tonight, and I felt this would be the perfect time to do this. So I'm going to do it on this song right now for all these wonderful folks. Yeah. What are you going to do? I'm going to sing bass. <laughs> oh, bro. I hate to break it to you, sis, but you can't sing bass. Tell him, Brian. Not just anybody can sing bass. That's why we have to have Scott over here in the first place. Besides, you've been blessed with the part of doing Mama's part. And we need you on this next song because it's called Daddy Sang Bass. Mama sang dinner, goes like this. I remember when I was a lad. Times were hard and things were bad. Oh, me but there's still a line in me. I feel proud. Just poor people, that's all we were. Trying to make a living out of black land dirt. We get together in the family circle, singing loud. Here it comes. Dare to sing, baby. Yep. Nope. Hey, brother, we're going around. I ain't singing the mama's part. Singing the same way I'm a drum slow. I ain't singing ten. Yes, you are. Right in there in the sky, Lord, in the sky. You just let me try it once, man. You I've been practicing all week, just waiting for tonight. You're totally disrupting this song. I just got done telling you that not just anybody can sing the bass part. Thank you, Brian. All right, I got another great idea. I tell you what, I bet I could go out here in the audience and I bet I could find anybody that could sing the bass part and no, just do a great job. Man, you don't have to go yeah. do that. In fact, this fellow right here, boy, he, I think he'd work fine. Sir, we... <laughs> you just scared him to death. Come, come on up here. Lost all his popcorn. Yeah, we'll, be careful there. We'll, <laughs> we'll get you some more popcorn here in a little bit. Yeah. Are you okay? <laughs> Take a big breath. Where are you from, sir? Or no go, Missouri. <laughs> Is that right? What do you do there? I'm a funeral director. A funeral director, huh? What's your name? Reggie. Reggie what? Reggie Mortis. <laughs> Reggie Mortis. Well, we're glad to hear happy. <laughs> yeah, we're do, you, do you know I'm known as the wittiest funeral director in the state of Missouri? Is that right? I tell all the jokes at the convention up there in Kirksville. You do? You, you know, I think you could use some new jokes in this show. <laughs> hey, you think? That comedian ain't funny. He's dogging on you. I think he's dying out here. <laughs> Believe you me, I know dying when I see it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I picked a real winner tonight, bro. You sure did. <laughs> I bet Reggie would do a great job, but we still have the same problem we had, sis, when you were standing over here. We still don't have anybody doing mama's part. My wife sings. She sings good. Is she here? Of course she's here. We're on vacation. I'll get her. That figures. Where's she at? <laughs> I've seen her before. <laughs> Her name? Rita. Rita Mortis. <laughs> well, I'll tell you what, Scott, we don't need you at all. You might as well go backstage and take a big break. We'll have Reggie and Rita help us out. You get them warmed up and off to this next verse. Bring them in the chorus. Here we go. I remember afterward, Paula calling all of us. You could hear us sing for a country mile. Well, let's let the sun go. Now we're joining in. 
get together in the bathroom circle in a little while. Daddy's home, babe. You gotta do it low. Daddy's home, babe. Low. Daddy's home, babe. Good grief! Did that come out of me? So will you make welcome this evening, Scott Craig. Oh, Lord, 
for joining me this evening in Echo Hollow. I tell you what, we just got started, so we want everybody in this whole place to help us out with this next song, and all you got to do is put them in together. Here we go. Two, one, two, three. Now I know just where I'm going. Heaven bound, heaven bound, I'm ready, Lord, for that sweet Sunday. Drop one now. for some old-time rock and roll. Yeah. Let's all go to the hop. Here we go.
the fool got the man inside. You got my wheel, you got what it's real. Good Miss Gray, she's great, balls of fire. I'm happy to be cause I thought it was funny. You come along and move me. I changed my mind, this girl is fine. Good Miss Gray, she's great, balls of fire. This is the way you die. Woo! Here comes Tracy! Time goes by 
can do so much for oh, you.
Smashing Pumpkins are you doing? <laughs> well, I heard all the rock and roll and I thought I'd try one more time to get in the show. No, 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 no. 
It's not really bombing, man. <laughs> well, listen, listen. Come here. Look at me when I'm talking to you. I want to tell you something. During our intermission time, all the band members, all the boys in the quartet, all the girls in the trio, we all got together backstage and we were talking about you. We were talking about you. And about that time, the red phone rang. And you know what that means? That means our producer, Mike Patrick, who is at this very moment ensconced behind the control panel out in the truck with his thumb on the pulse of this show, he called up and said, I won't give that boy a chance. Yeah. No lions. No lions. <laughs> Groovy, baby. <laughs> so I'll tell you what. I'll tell you what we're going to do. You go backstage. Sue, our costume mistress back there, she has all the things you need to come back out here in just minutes from now and wow this bunch here tonight. Now, are you ready to do that? I won't let you down. All right, get on I'll out do, here. I'll go do it. Put it on right now. All right, go do it. There he goes. Jim Dandy, friends, right there. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Wait, turn that thing off. Would you, would you turn that thing? Turn it off! There you go. Mighty good. <laughs> Let's get the boys back out here. What do you say? Come on, fellas. <laughs> Woo! Buddy. How about this Time Machine band? Don't you love them? Don't you? <laughs> and our band leader, Mr. Tracy Heaston. You know, friends, how many of you folks saw the show in years past or last year or have seen it so far this year? Great. Well, if you've seen our show in the past, you know that about this time every night, uh, Tracy would come out and we would play just an incredible number on the piano. Last year he played that great modern classic, Chariots of Fire. And not to be outdone, he's got something extra special for you tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, here he is, the maestro, Mr. Tracy Heaston. <laughs> Thank you. 
Ladies and gentlemen, Pure Heart.
it's Orange Julius. Well, I see you made it over to the Liberace garage sale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, do you like a suit? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Not like I like a stomach pump. Stomach pump. Stomach pump. Okay, well, speaking of stomach pump, are you ready to play and sing? <laughs> Whoa. Getting quiet in here now. <laughs> Come on over here. All right, okay, all right, here we go. Put your little microphone up there, get ready to go. Here, that looks like that hurts. Here, look at it. Ow, ow. Hey, 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 hey! No, not there! Come out of there. What are you thinking? Oh, ow! Look at that. Look at that. That's a blood blister. Chipped all the polish off. <laughs> okay, now, do you know the song you're about to sing? <laughs> yeah. Good, good. Does the band know the song you're about to sing? <laughs> Yeah. Okay. Good. Good. What key is this song in? <laughs> R. R. Oh, that's good. Yeah. Hey, Stretch, got an R on that thing, buddy? Uh, R. Got it. Perfect. All right. Now, friends, you've asked for it. You're about to get it. Here he comes, Jim Dandy. <laughs> Oh, 
how can I get a mighty fine? Hey, you want to hear a little bit more of that? Well, okay. We're going to do something a little bit different right now. You've just seen him play virtually every instrument on the stage. And right now, we're going to spotlight this young man. We're going to bring him out here on the front of the stage and let him sing for you. Get ready, friends. Here he comes, my good buddy, Mr. Jamie Hagee. this evening through our music and right now friends we would like to share a song with you we'd like to sing amazing grace with you now some of you are saying well I don't sing in public or maybe some of you are saying I only sing in my home church well if that's the case consider this take a look around you what finer cathedral is there in the entire world and right out here in God's natural beauty sing it with us Amazing grace, how sweet the sound that saved a wretch like me.
give yourselves a big hand. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Have you enjoyed meeting our family tonight? Thank you. There is one final member of this family that we must introduce to you now, the most important member of our family. As a matter of fact, some of you people already know this person. Some of you live with this person. You see, it's because of this dear loved one of ours that we could all go where we want, do what we feel, and say what's in our hearts. I'm speaking of the veterans of our country, the men and women who served you and me. Right now, we're going to bring up the lights in just seconds from now, and when we do, we'd like to ask all of our veterans to stand because we have a special round of appreciation for you here tonight. Please bring up the lights. Veterans, please stand for us right now, would you? There they are, friends. The heroes of the United States, right there. this that is a sincere thank you from all of us here tonight and let's not forget the ones who never came home the ones who spilled their blood and gave their lives for you and for me and the POWs and the MIAs wherever they are we dedicate our show to their loving memory God bless America the freedom that we enjoy today and every day I thank my God for sending those like you who cared about the future and the dreams of me and you the red is for the blood
good game. That's, that's a wrap. Go home. <laughs> <laughs> five, buddy, five. Yeah. Five.